are a lot of lists out there saying that words are words, and hello, how are you? Hi, I'm Joel, and welcome back to WatchMinecraft.com, and in this list, we'll be going through the top 10 chicken kills in Minecraft. 10 to 2 are boring, so here is number 1. Simple, efficient, and entertaining. If there's anything you'd change about this list, make sure to leave a comment down below and subscribe for more awesome lists. Anyway, I make a lot of videos about Minecraft mods and how they can change your building by adding new blocks and more. However, what if there was a way to get a similar effect in vanilla? So today I'm going to be showing you how to make a modded looking house in 100% vanilla Minecraft. Java, Bedrock, or Pocket Edition. This will work. It's just a bit of a long process. But is it worth it? You tell me at the end. So maps are pretty cool. You can display the world around you as you can see here. And the great thing about them is that they're really thin when you put them on an item frame on a wall. You can make a single map or you can join them together to make a bigger map. And obviously this just shows you everything from a top down view, which got me thinking. If we went onto a flat world where everything's basically green apart from a few splodges and we use a little bit of world edit, you could do this without world edit, it just take a very long time. But it is possible. And we click the top left of the corner and the top right of the corner and set white concrete, for example. Our map turns white. Although I've messed it up slightly in the corners, needs to be a bit wider. There we go. All completely white. We can then head to our wall here, put it on our item frame. And look, it's like having white wallpaper. Very interesting. And this got me thinking, could we build a house using this technique where we make some different textured blocks? and other little things. Let's give it a go. The one main problem with this is, this is how big each map piece is. It's massive, it doesn't even fit on my entire screen. So these textures may be a bit tricky. And obviously there might be a slight problem with how we actually build this house, as item frames have a tendency to uh, just fall off. So let's try and be as careful as possible. And then we have to go through the troubling task of covering our entire house in item frames. There's not a surface on the outside of this house that will not have an item frame on it. I might time lapse this because I think it'll look pretty funny. And it kind of did look funny, but not really. It just looks like I'm placing item frames on a house, which I was. So obviously we're not gonna be able to texture every block, so we're gonna put glass in here, but we might be able to do it to the floor. Let's start with the walls here. We wanna make our own custom wood texture. Now, this is vanilla Minecraft, just regular Minecraft. The only planks you can get are these ones here. Let's see if I can make some white stained planks, for example. So if you look closely at the plank texture, you'll see that there's 16 different pixels going down it. However, here, we have 128 blocks by 128, which means an eight by eight square is one pixel on here. And I think I'm gonna use diorite to help me make these white planks. Although if you look on the map, it really doesn't look very good. Maybe andesite would work. No, that's too gray. Iron blocks also a bit too gray, I'd say. You know what? Light gray stained glass may be the closest we get. However, you'll notice on a regular piece of wood, color sort of changes. So we're going to try and copy this pattern. There's like dark, then a lightish, and then a very light here. There's like three different colors. So there you go. I think I've got the pattern right. If you look here, you can sort of compare the two. And the annoying thing is we're going to have to do this multiple times. Another three times. It's not going to be very white. More more grey. We'll, we'll see how it looks at the end. I'm not sure if this is going to really look like a plank, to be honest. <laughs> so far, it's just looking like grey lines. But another two to add. This has taken 20 minutes so far for <laughs> one block. And that's with world edit. <sighs> it's not looking like a plank. So I think I'm going to add some texture in like you see in here. Unfortunately, there's not really that many different colours of white. Like, diorite barely changes it. You can kind of see it does a little. Mushroom stem might be the best option, to be honest. It's slightly light grey. We'll use a mix of that and diorite. Let's see if we can get a better looking texture. All right. Well, there it is. Looks interesting. There's only one way to find out if it looks good, though, and that's by placing it on our house. So let's do that now. You know what? It's not terrible. I was expecting it to be a lot worse. I'm gonna say it, that's genius. I love it, I think that's amazing. What the heck, it actually looks pretty good. I'm happy, I'm really happy. Oh my gosh, right, let's finish off the outside wall. It kind of messes up on the corners as you've got these sort of like little bits sticking out here, as you can see. But I don't care because look at my white stained planks. Yeah, it's kind of hideous, but who cares? And the great thing about this now is using world edit, we could completely change the look of this house with some simple commands, like so. Look at that, it's now a red 
house. You know what? I kind of hate it. I might try and make it a different color. Let's try like pink or something. So this is what it looks like from above. Pretty hideous. That looks even worse. Let's go back to the white if we can. There we go. That's much better. So our walls are done. We have to work on a roof now. So maybe let's go for like a tiled texture. I'm going to try and get creative here and make it like a gray, stony, tiled texture. Let's try and make that. Starting with a blank canvas. So I'm going to make this texture a bit more detailed. And I'm not sticking to the one pixel is one eight by eight square rule. There you go. Would you look at that? That kind of looks like a slate roof. Quite small tiles. Let's see what it looks like on the house itself. Ah, so I, I messed up the pattern somewhere. Just there. That needs to be fixed. I'm thinking they're a bit too small. Like, what house in real life would have tiles this small? So maybe let's change up the sizing a little bit. Which means we've got to start from scratch, basically. My brain is hurting from the maths I'm trying to do right now to try and make these work. Okay, I think I've finally done it. A tile pattern that is bigger. It took way too long for some reason. Let's try it out on the house. Yeah, that looks a lot better. I hate how it doesn't line up here. It lines up if you put it on the floor flat, but for some reason it's weird here, which is a shame. But it does a pretty good job still, so let's plop these down. Wait, I've just realized that these are all turned around. If I do that, it fixes that problem. Look at that. Nice. Still looks a bit weird. These ones here look a bit big. Well, would you look at that? What an interesting looking house. You'll notice that the bottom here and the sides are not done because I'm going to do a different texture for those. I think I'm just going to do a light gray all the way on the bottom here. But the sides, let's try and make a funky pattern. At this point, this is just like a big chiseling bits board. As you can see up here, I'm trying to make something weird looking. It looks weird so far, so I guess I'm succeeding. This is a pain. I am just deleting a load of stuff because I thought I'd be smart and copy and paste on top of it, but now I've got these weird lines across it, so we've got to do the long way. All right, I might have built it a little bit too weird, like, Let's put it on and see what it looks like. Yeah, that looks absolutely terrible. But we're experimenting out here. It doesn't look too bad from distance, but it doesn't look great either. Underneath and at the top, we're just gonna do these sort of like plain gray ones with a bit of an outline on them. Pretty standard. I'm sure somewhere with some more artistic talent will be able to do a better job than I've done with this. Now, a white floor looks pretty good, but you can make it into like a nice kitchen floor with some black concrete like so. But what if you want this to be a smaller pattern? to the maps. It's, it's, it's a long journey just to make a kitchen floor. Gotta go all the way over here. Let's have a look. Yes, a lovely tiled floor. Let's see how this looks. Look at that. A very nice kitchen floor. I think that looks pretty good. Obviously, it's not perfect, but from a glance, it looks decent. So that's the kitchen done. Looking very nice indeed. I've added in this spruce floor as well, which I think I might use. However, it could use a rug. We've got the regular old carpet here, as you can see, but just boring, like just plain, that's it. Let's see if we can create an interesting rug to go with this. To the maps, oh my gosh, this is lagging out my Minecraft, what's going on? Load! Okay, thank you. So we're starting with a nice little pattern around the edge there. You'll notice that it's just a corner because I'm gonna put four bits together to make a full rug. Also, I've only just realized you can actually do layers. So if you did this, set this all along here, you can kind of see that it adds an extra two colors, which is awesome. But I'm not sure we will do it on this bit as well. No, it kind of glitches out on this bit. So it's only useful for one direction, which is a shame, but might be useful for something at some point. Although, out of all the ones I've done so far, this one is turning out to be my favorite. I think this is gonna look good. I hope it does at least. You know what, I think this is enough. Let's go see what it looks like in our house. Where was it? It was this way. So let's have our rug here. Look at that, I think that looks pretty good. I actually really like that. That's possibly the best thing I've built so far out of all this stuff. So when you combine it with a little bit of just regular old vanilla decorating, the little things can add a lot of detail. I really like the rug, I really like the tiles. Let's see what happens if we make the outside actually look good as well. Because at the moment, it's just a weird looking house with just grass around it. Let's add some trees and some cool stuff. Look at that, that actually fits in quite well now. I'm pretty happy with this. Add a bit of shaders and it looks even better. Look at that. It looks just as good inside the stuff I've made. We won't talk about that thing, whatever that is, but the rest of it is looking pretty good. So there you have it, a house that looks modded, but is completely vanilla. Obviously this is my first time trying this. 
I think the planks are okay, especially with shaders. The planks actually look really good with shaders. That looks terrible. The roof looks all right. The rug looks amazing. And this bit looks really cool. I'm happy with that. I think that's pretty awesome. So you guys can try this out as well, no matter what type of Minecraft you play, Java, Bedrock, Minecraft Pocket Edition, this will work. You don't even need to do it on a flat world. You can just find somewhere and build where the map would take you. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. Make sure to leave a like and comment if you did. But until next time, I shall see you another time. Goodbye.